and we are good to go. Um, share screen. Okay. Good evening, selamat petang, selamat salam sejahtera. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How is everybody doing today? My name is Nash Idrus and uh, I would like to say, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for taking this time to be on this session and series called Pillars of Wealth and Happiness in Business. So for those of you who actually have said hello to everybody, well, thank you. And it's great to have you here. Uh, tonight is a special night and uh, I want to share with you what this whole series is about. So before that, I want to say there's a, there's a saying that says, um, there's a saying that says 80% of success is because you showed up. Now, because of that, I want to say congratulations for being here. Tahmiah kerana berada di sini. For that, please put your hands like this, put your hand up and pat yourself on the back, pat yourself on the back, right? Um, because it's actually a Friday night, you could be with your family, but you're here to come get some of these information and thoughts. Um, what this series is all about is because um, there was some requests from people who, who asked whether I could share some of the knowledge, thoughts, and uh, wisdom, um, what, uh, what I've gone through so far. But what I feel is more important is this particular subject matter that I would like to share with you uh, before I go, we go into the very deep technical stuff in actually, you know, thinking about building a business and bringing it to IPO. This is the most fundamental thing. So this series is about really about the mind, heart and the mind and heart preparing us to bring us to the next level, especially in business. So uh, it's a very short series. Uh, tonight is part one, inshallah, if you guys like what we're doing here tonight, then I'll do a part two because there are uh, probably five pillars that i like to share tonight, uh, but not tonight, but in this uh, session. So what is, what is it that we're going to cover? Uh, we're going to cover a couple of topics. Number one is what is wealth? What is wealth? Uh, number two, we're going to cover this thing called wealth, money, and status, Okay. Uh, number three, how your specific skills produce wealth, how you have skills that produce wealth. And we're going to touch on some business case studies along the way. We're going to touch about real entrepreneurs who, do, who are picking this up. I use the examples. So I'm going to example, contoh-contoh yang sebenarnya berlaku di luar sana, especially berdasarkan kepada orang yang real famous people out there. Because I find that some people, when I say certain names, uh, they don't they don't know. I never heard of them. But that's not that's not an issue. It's about we all want to learn. We're coming from uh, zero right now, from white belt. Apa? Semua tu lalu tulis. I'm coming from the white belt. You know, if white belt means taekwondo kung fu, right? We are all coming from zero tonight. All right. So a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Nazri Idrus. So my friends call me Nash Idrus. And um, uh, I am the CEO of Precession Capital Berhad and Precession Capital, I'll tell you more about it after this, but uh, what we do is we incubate and we actually invest in businesses and we hold their hands and we want to bring them to IPO because that's the exit strategy that we have, okay? So very, 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 very um, quick introduction before this, all this happened. Uh, I was in a program called Apprentice Asia and in the Apprentice Asia, I was one of the contestants of the 12. Uh, ada seribu, dua puluh ribu orang download. Seribu orang actually got shortlisted. Seratus orang got an interview. And then uh, out of that seratus orang, there were 50 that went to a final interview. And in the end, it was 12 that got into the program. And uh, unfortunately, I was actually fired. <laughs> You're fired. Uh, by a guy in the middle, Tony Fernandez. Uh, but it was an amazing journey because uh, in the grand final, after the Habes too, Tony Fernandez, I remember at the end party, he came up to me and said, Nash, uh, I like your energy. I like uh, how you think. Would you like to consider to join us in Air Asia? So what do you think I say? What do you think I say? Do you, 
I would say, oh, this is just an amazing invite. Tapi I say no because uh, in my heart, I know that it's not where I want to go. I am not into going into a, a business that wouldn't work for other people. I'll share you why I say that, okay? So, um, then I find macam an opportunity. So, Tony invited us to go on a trip on a kapal terbang at that time. Uh, it was a plane and an A Asia X plane from KL to Perth at that time. And on that plane was this man called Richard Branson. Sir Richard Branson. Sila tulis kat dalam tu, Sir Richard Branson. Siapa boleh tulis dalam? Sir Richard Branson. Okay. And Sir Richard Branson was uh, lost the bet dengan Tony Fernandez. He had to wear this uh, baju. And uh, he went on the plane and then, uh, you know, he, he, he served all of us. So it was an amazing session with them and we i had a quick mentoring session with sir richard branson we talked about business uh, that was amazing so you can go and google go and find out a youtube called coffee tea or me where there's a video i was there with uh, uh, sir richard branson we're playing games with him so i really enjoyed that um subsequent to that i really learned a lot from this man uh, tony fernandez right and how he actually used 10 ringgit 10 ringgit to buy over a company that that company is not what he wants, but the business of the company, the license that the company has, which is the Kapa Terbang license is what he wanted. And from that 10 ringgit, he actually uses capital, this thing called capital mechanics, where capital mechanics to the guna pakai to actually um, fund his venture called Air Asia. And after that, from there on, they dapat investors, and then he brought this company to listing to IPO, and then rest is history. So, but that's a story that uh, for another day, right? I'll share with you another day. So that's a bit about my background. Um, but what, what I'd like to share with you is about what happened to me um, is thereafter, uh, I was, there was a time where the, what I did together with AirAsia X, um, we finished that contract, but then there was a, there was this thing called the GST. Was, GST was a problem because we didn't understand how, um, and the business started going down. And while business going down, I was thinking, what the, what's going on with my business? Why is it? It was growing, but then it started to go like very much um, tida, uh, stable. You know what I mean? It's up and down, up and down. It doesn't grow anymore. So I then suddenly found out about my friend here. His name is, um, um, uh, his name is, uh, what? Patrick Grove, right? He, his name is Patrick Grove. The person on the left, yang pakai uh, jacket, warna hitam, baju warna putih, his name is Patrick Grove. And uh, he, there was a news that I heard that Patrick actually sold his company, uh, Lock, Stock and Barrel, to another shareholder bernama Richard Mur uh, Rupert Murdoch. Have you guys heard of Rupert Murdoch? Can somebody type in there, Rupert Murdoch, please? Rupert Murdoch. So Rupert Murdoch offered to buy his company for 500 million US dollar. Padahal company itu dah publicly listed in the Australian Stock Exchange. So this guy, uh, Patrick Grove, was a friend of mine. And I go to ask him, how do you do it, Patrick? He said, come and see me. Then Master said, Good job, he taught me a couple of things. He taught me how to grow a business, how to actually bring the business and uh, using investors' money to actually grow your business and exponentially and very, very fast. Very, very what? Very, very fast, okay? So then I check up, macam mana saya nak belajar benda ni? No one would teach me this, but I found out as a person that teaches this and uh, his name is uh, Dr. Wong, Dr. Wong. So somebody can please type in there, Dr. Wong. He shared with me how using capital actually expands your business very, very, and scale it very, very fast. So I went to his class and then we actually created a business called Precession Capital. And this Precession Capital is a business that we have started. We use all the techniques that uh, Patrick Grove used untuk membina business beliau. Apa yang beliau guna dalam business beliau, saya guna pakai in uh, Precession Capital and then with other companies that we invest as well. Cool. So that's still a little bit about myself. Any questions? Ada apa soalan? All right, so guys, I won't take much of your time. Of obviously, this tonight you want to spend most most of your time with your family. So tonight I'm gonna to cover something really quick so that kita dapat some input and get some energy. Hopefully, for you to move 
next week, okay? So here's the thing. Um, I have a Telegram group that uh, I'd like to share with you. Uh, the Telegram group is uh, called Extend Precession. So can someone in here tolong cari the Telegram group and put it there? Uh, because I don't want... Siapa nak uh, the slides malam ni? Siapa nak, siapa nak slides kita malam ni? Sebab saya tak nak anda susah-susah. Uh, so siapa nak slides? Cakap dengan saya. Cakap, saya nak slides! Alright, sebab saya nak cantik-cantikkan slides ni. And uh, the slides also have my script, my content. So anda tak perlu susah-susah payah. So cakap saya nak slide. So uh, I need someone's help to cari extend precession telegram and please paste there. And everybody yang nak slides ni, letak I want, masuk, I give you. So that everybody else can masukkan uh, nama and go into that slide. It's called extend precession. So... Okay, that's the one. Extend mindset, yes. Thank you, Noor. Ah, tu dia, Noor. Siapa Noor ni? Terima kasih lah sangat-sangat. Ah, Azrina Hamidun, tu kat atas tu dia punya link tu, okay? So, please put that link all the time. Go into that and saya akan download and put this into the slide. Cool, guys. So, um, let's move on. Let me see, yeah. Okay, so, we we'll start with wealth, okay? Wealth kekayaan. So berapa ramai daripada anda di sini nak menjadi kaya raya? Sila kata saya. Kaya raya. Type there kaya raya saya. Okay? Cakap saya. Kaya raya. Yeah! That's the one. So I love it. Love it. Saya kaya raya. Cool man. So I want to define kaya raya. And uh, how many of you nak bahagia? Kebahagiaan. Bahagia. Cakap bahagia. Cakap bahagia. Alright, cakap bahagia. Beautiful. So sebab saya tak, selalunya saya suka bercakap dengan orang and then uh, kita bercakap ber, macam cakap dengan kawan tapi sebab tak ada dengar apa-apa, sebab tu saya perlukan anda bersama saya here and actually engage with me. Okay, so please type in and as we play along. Okay, um, so hopefully people in Facebook right now pun we are engaged there as well. Okay, awesome guys. All right, so let's talk about wealth. Wealth, defined wealth, okay? Wealth namanya sebenarnya came from this word called wheel ataupun well-being ataupun welfare. Well-being, welfare. Apa maksudnya? Dalam bahasa Malaysia, it means kesejahteraan. It means, what does it mean? Kesejahteraan. So it's not really about just money, but it's all about kesejahteraan. So I want to define something here, ladies and gentlemen. The ultra net worth, um, wealth kalunya is, is kita samakan wealth atau kita fikir wealth is about high net worth people. So how many of you have met high net worth people? High net worth people, there are still high net worth in Malaysia, right? Right, so if you have, oh Azrina Hamidun has met high net worth people. Eh? All right, so do you know that high net worth, uh, there's a level of net worth, eh? Ada yang uh, net worth, um, high net worth, tapi ultra high net worth is orang yang mempunyai 30 million dollars, US dollars in investable assets. 30 million dollars. Now, hanya one 513,000 people saja. Tolong tulis itu. 513,000 orang sahaja dalam dunia ini is on this list of 30 million US dollar and above. And daripada 513,000 orang yang ultra high net worth, 85% is 50 years and older. Yeah. So can you imagine the 7 billion people, only 30 million is ultra high net worth. Okay. So, so we're going to discover a couple of things tonight. All right. Um, Okay, so what is wealth? Now, wealth is created from the computer program that is running at night. The wealth can be created from the building that is giving you the rent, okay? Or the products that you created that orang lain is consuming these products. Yeah, so what, what is that? We're going to discover that tonight. Um, perhaps products that you created, the example... Maybe you created um, uh, uh, um, maybe water. You know that one of the wealthiest persons on the planet 
actually in China right now, ialah orang yang menjual air botol. Can you imagine? Dia jual air botol and other people is consuming the 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 product. And he is doing this thing called keqing. Everybody say keqing. When I say wealth, everybody say keqing. Keqing! And he's keqing. Can you say keqing in the group? Keqing! Yeah. So that money in the bank is also wealth that is being reinvested into other businesses. Yes, keqing. This man, if somebody can Google me for me, orang paling kaya, antara orang yang paling kaya di China, melebihi Jack Ma sekarang ialah dia jual air mineral bottle di China. Can you imagine that? So he knows the game. So the key here for wealth is assets that you earn while you are sleeping. That is the key. Assets you earn while you are sleeping. Sambil kita tidur, we are earning something through assets. All right. So now I'm going to talk about money. Tadi we we'll talk about wealth. Tonight we also talk about money. Do it. Money is actually called social credit. Okay. So money is called social credit. So social credit uh, and money is actually something um, that is what how you owe how you owe time or use other people's time. Okay, so you use uh, time or you uh, you use other people's time. So how does money work? It's like this: bila you create value for society, you create something for society, right? The society akan cakap apa? Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me uh, this. And here's what you get. Uh, here's how I pay you for what you created. Ni lah cara saya bayar anda for what you actually created. So that's called money. It's called money. All right. So money. Kalau you tengok sebelah kanan, nampak tak gambar tu American dollar. That's called fiat currency. Semua orang cakap fiat currency. So money ada banyak bentuk, but the, the bentuk yang kita ada sekarang is called fiat currency. But there's another type of money right now. There's many other types of money right now. So bila orang tanya apa fiat currency tonight, you will learn this. So this is fiat currency. Dulu ada butter, right? So anyway, thank you. Zong Shan Shan, Nong Fu Water. Yeah, that's him. Yes. So money. Now, social status. Social status is your place in the social hierarchy. Di manakah tempat anda in the social hierarchy? Normally, you can see people with the social status in magazines macam Malaysia Tatler. Siapa pernah dengar Malaysia Tatler ni? Yeah, yeah. Siapa pernah masuk dalam Malaysia Tatler? Any anybody has been in social Tatler? Uh, Malaysia Tatler? Yeah, it's a social status magazine, right? Now, so I define that just now. That the three things that I want to say to you. We talk about wealth. We talk about money and we talk about social status. Now, I want to talk about this. Macam mana people become really wealthy? How do people become really, really wealthy? There are only three ways. If you dabble in these three things. Hanya tiga perkara ini yang membuatkan anda menjadi sangat kaya raya, gila-gila, babs. Okay? Yang pertama is you have assets called real estate. Dalam bahasa Melayu, real estate apa? Um, real estate lah masalah you. <laughs> hartana, yes, hartana. Okay, so uh, the other thing there is when you also have asset called paper asset. All right, so you you actually buy stocks and you actually follow the stocks and you actually ex exit by selling the stocks. Paper assets, contoh stocks and many other things that paper. And the third one is that. Next one is called business, an asset called business. You build a business, learn to everybody, build a business and for the business to sell products and then or sell shares. So you want to be really, really, really wealthy. You build a business. The past two, you draw a product. Then you draw shares of your business. You draw your business. So this is the only three ways to be wealthy. Ini hanya tiga benda. Kalau you ada asset nombor satu, nombor dua, nombor tiga, you're on your way to be wealthy. Anybody wants to say anything else here? Siapa yang nak mencabar saya mengatakan ada benda-benda lain jadi wealthy? I can tell you, ada lagi cara lain untuk be wealthy. Siapa nak dengar? Yes? Alright, the other way is to be wealthy is to actually marry 
a wealthy woman. All right. So that's how you can be wealthy. But I don't know whether you can do that or not. Lah. Or, or marry into a wealthy family. <laughs> other than that, maybe you can lie and cheat other people. Maybe you can be wealthy, but you won't stay wealthy for a long time. All right. So I, I want to say, uh, yeah. So Mr. Azim, raise your hand. Kawin dengan Dato' Vida. <laughs> Zach. Smart, smart guy. Yeah. I mean, I think she's available. Cool. I'm not quite sure. So that's how you become wealthy. Now, let's go to the next piece. I want to talk about who is the world's wealthiest people. Apakah kesamaan mereka? All right. Number one. Siapa kenal siapa kat sini? Can you please type who you know here? Just type in who you know in this in this group here. Who do you know in this group? Um, type in who do you know? I think you just put the number, you know. One, two, three. 85 1 2 3 right very nice Zach. okay so number one uh, yeah jeff bezos from amazon number two bill gates from um microsoft number three is warren buffett number four bernard alto are not bernard are not is from the lvmh family okay bernard are not and uh of course, you know Mark Zuckerberg, obviously, and you know this man called uh, the last one is the guy who created Google. All right, uh, I can't see the rest here. Mm. Uh, Bloomberg, man of Bloomberg. Okay, so these are the wealthiest people, and how come they become wealthiest? Apakah persamaan yang anda lihat dalam diri mereka ni? What is it that you see in these people? You will see there are a few things I'm going to see. How come? Now, yes, Azrina, you are amazing. Kaching to Azrina. These people, the wealthiest people in the planet, are the people young Mambikin business. They are creating, doing, accelerating their business. Now, obviously, uh, if you are not a prince of Sultan Brunei, you can be lah. Uh, wealthiest person but you're not right so the only way that become wealthy is to think now kita nak hack dalam pikiran mereka ni and how they become that right so they are people in business that's why i say the best way to be wealthy is to be in business okay other than uh and we're going to discover more about them awesome so this is malaysia siapa kenal siapa kat sini siapa kenal siapa do you know the number one person situ is Robert Kwok in Malaysia, right? And Ananda Krishnan, all right? So how many of you can Ananda Krishnan? So Ananda Krishnan. All right, Maxis. Yeah, Zrina, very good. Okay, siapa kenal this man called Syed Muta Al-Bukhari? Syed Muta Al-Bukhari, saya kenal, all right. Keep asking me, I see, keep answering, okay? Sai Mota Buhari, I just want to show you these two people that um, is living the way of the wealthy. And I want to share with you the past me. All right, so these are the 10 people, top 10 people. One day it will be me. Say, it will be me. Check up. It will be me. Ching, ching, ching. Why? Remember, most people are building long term wealth. Remember tadi, 85% daripada orang who are very wealthy are 50 and above. Why? Because they are building long-term wealth. Because mereka membina kekayaan secara long-term. They are in the long-term game. Look at them. Semua sudah tua-tua, right? Jangka panjang. That's the problem that we'll, we'll look at when people want to be wealthy and they actually lie, cheat, and they play a short-term game, right? No, it's okay to be muda-muda, but you must understand how this works, okay? So, next, what is freedom? Freedom is to think, do, and say whatever I want, all right? Freedom is do, say whatever I want. What is financial freedom? Financial freedom, for me, this is my own definition, Malamini, to do whatever I want, whenever I want it, whoever I want it with, because I have the assets that I can be converted into money. Itu saya punya definition. Definition saya yang kedua is, financial freedom is, have the business and assets that earn 
passively while you sleep. That is freedom. Betul tak betul? Thank you for putting that hashtag financial freedom. And ketiga, many definition here says when passive income is more than life's expenses. That's financial freedom. So I'm going to I'm gonna do a mantra kat sini. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to put a mantra kat sini. The keys to wealth. Okay. Um, let's put your hands on your heart right now and follow me. Check out, I seek wealth, not money, not status. Say, I seek wealth, not money, not status. Can you please type it in there? I seek wealth, not money, not status. Why do I say that, ladies and gentlemen? If I say, if you remember just now, Ananda Krishnan and also Said Mautal Bukhari, they don't go for status, okay? Ada, you pernah tengok dia dalam magazine-magazine. Ada dia keluar dalam magazine, you know, macam tu, macam tu, macam tu, macam tu. They don't, right? They don't want to be in that magazine uh, if they don't need to be because they want to just create wealth. Faham maksud saya tak? I mean, you think about it, uh, ada ke orang macam uh, um, uh, Warren Buffett dia tiba-tiba sibuk nak keluar kat magazine no, no, macam tu, you know, for status. No, they don't. He's not. He's not going for money. He's just creating wealth because wealth is well-being. Well-being is welfare. Welfare is kesejahteraan for everybody. Everybody understand? So we seek wealth, we build assets. Assets that gives passive, passively while we sleep. Everybody follow tak masuk saya kat sini? Sebab saya kena mendefinasikan wealth ni dulu. Alright? We just want to create wealth. Yes. Okay. So, number one. Number two, I get wealthy by owning equity, a piece of business. Now, I have been asking many people kat sini and I met a lot of people. And you can see from the Forbes list, eh, korang boleh nampak daripada Forbes list tu, these people who are wealthy is owning equity in a business. Betul tak betul? Right? You all agree, right? They orang semua ada equity in the business. Sebab itulah, equity creates financial freedom. Hashtag, equity creates financial freedom. Go. Equity creates financial freedom. This is the mantra that we want to keep. I seek wealth, not money, not status. I get wealthy by owning equity. Equity creates financial freedom. Semua orang follow? Yes? All right, you guys are amazing. Semua orang, we're going we're gonna to move on and say ka-ching. Say ka-ching, guys, please. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. All right. So that brings me to the, to the pillar number one. So. Uh, tonight, I'm going to touch malam ni. I just, the reason why I'm doing this is just to add value. Sebab, I love it when people are around me and they say, Nash, can you share a little bit about this and that, this and that. So, I want to share this with you, pillar number one. So, pillar of wealth. The first pillar of wealth, ladies and gentlemen, ialah mempunyai specific skills and knowledge. Specific skills and knowledge. This is the first pillar of wealth. Do aku tak boleh jadi kaya lah. No, if you have specific skills and knowledge, this is the start of you becoming wealthy. All right, let's explore. Are you ready? Say I'm ready. Say I'm ready. Beauty. Thank you, Azrina. Oh, tu dia. Student terbaik. I think we next time student terbaik kita kena bagi satu hadiah. Huh? Betul tak? Huh? Kena bagi satu hadiah, sudah baik. Azlinda Zubay, I'm ready. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'm super ready. Just you. Mm. Beautiful. So, we're going to explore the first pillar. Malam ni kita dapat satu pillar, okay? I, I hope this will excite you and um, get you spurred up. All right, let's go. All right. <coughs> um, here, the first key I want to say to you is, it is now time for you to find to build, to sharpen specific skills and knowledge. Inilah masa untuk anda mencari, membina dan mengasah specific skills and knowledge. Okay? Alright. So, apa maksud saya tu? Kita ingat that kita ni sebenarnya um, learn something. But actually in real fact, we actually are not learning something we actually taught something. Kita diajar sesuatu. Okay? But skills and knowledge, skills and knowledge is not classroom. Can you put it there, please? Skills and knowledge bukan sesuatu yang that you are diajar, not taught. You are not taught. Skills and knowledge is not what you are taught. Write it down. Come on, let's go. 
Skills and knowledge is not what you're taught. Okay. I give you an example. Yeah, apa yang diajar? Taught, oh, sorry, salah aja eh. T-A-U-G-H-T. Thank you, no. You guys amazing, no. T-A-U-G-H-T. Tidak diajar. Okay, contohnya. Siapa kat sini belajar um, sejarah? Ada orang kat sini belajar sejarah tak? Right? Right. So, ada orang kat sini belajar um, bahasa Inggeris tak di, 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 di sekolah? Right? So, you are taught English. But you will not master. Ada orang kat sini belajar agama tak in school, right? You you are taught this, but you will not be skillful if you don't know how to apply. Do you orang you 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 get me? You will not be skillful unless you learn how to apply. So skills are not taught. Skills is what you learn. Learn is where. Through application, please learn from through application. Learn through application by by experience. Okay, so here's some high income skills. Example, skills, sales skills, ni, uh, and knowledge is from experience learning from negotiating with parents, betul tak? So some people kat sini, siapa kat sini pandai sales kat sini? Can you say uh, sales me? Sales equals me. But I want to put it to you, right? Orang yang pandai sales ni are normally people who knows how to negotiate parents, how to jual barang dekat classmates. Uh, mereka ni, it's actually from their own experience. Dia tak ada pun pakai buka buku macam ni nak jual barang kepada kawan, betul tak? So it's actually from experience. You see, you can sharpen by learning from certain mentors. That is taught from certain mentors. and But you need to practice in real world. Siapa sini setuju? How many of you stood you with me? Say I stood you. All right. So something that you do without effort, skills and knowledge, pillar number one, is something that you do without much effort. It's in your DNA. For example, for me, saya diajar finance accounting, but I learned finance. You follow ah so far? Saya diajar finance and accounting, but I don't like accounting. Because I didn't apply accounting, but I learned finance because I applied finance. Through experience in my building business, this business, Precession Capital, and also in investing other people's business, saya mula mengaplikasikan the real world of finance where we talk about due diligence, pergi mengkaji the business, and then we talk and negotiate, uh, valuation. That's all where finance is learned through experience. Follow me, semua follow not, follow not. Say I follow. All right. So here are the certain skills and knowledge and talents. Okay, number one, speaking skill, uh, speaking talent. So talent is also about skills, right? So what is it? Talent to enroll other people. All right. Ataupun musical talent, instrument punya talent. How many of you can play music? Say music equals me. Music equals me. Kalau you ada that talent, artistic talent, design, painting, okay, these are called specific skills and talents. Obsessive talent, you boleh remember things, you boleh absorb data. Oh, boleh ingat. Oh, I really like to learn. I really okay. So yeah, thank you, JC. Listening to music equals me. Okay, sporting talent. Sporting talent ni main apa apa game pun dia pandai. Ah, tu Filza. Sport apa you main tu? That I have a person, my senior, that I'm in in school last time in in um, Royal Military College. His name is um, his name is uh, Mirnawan Nawawi, and he can play hockey. He play hockey for Malaysia juniors. He play main bola. He play football for the uh, state team. He play main uh, takraw. He play melipat gila gila. Play for the state team. He play buat water polo. He's the goalkeeper water polo. He can play anything on the universe because he's got a sporting talent. And he created wealth through his sporting talent. Last one is called Oh, Sharudin, trumpet me. Gossiping skills. Ah, siapa ada gossiping skills and gossiping talent? Then you can become entertainment journalist. So all these are the skills and talents that you can create wealth. All right? Yeah, to dia. So my question for you is this: What are your talents and skills? What are your talents and skills? Bagaimana your talents and skills? Now here's the key. Yes, speaking talent. I know Zach Zawani, ladies and gentlemen. This guy called Zach Zawani. He can speak. 
Okay, I, you, I've been talking to him. Um, we're going to talk about how to build his business. He's got really good speaking talent, okay? Now, the key for us, ladies and gentlemen, kawan-kawan semua, is to upgrade the skills and knowledge and talents, okay? So, how? By pursuing your talents, your curiosity, and your passion. Sebab, this is where you're going to make the killing. Cakap, make a killing. Cakap, make a killing. Maknanya, akan menjadi kaya raya. Make a killing. When you do this, you're going to make a killing. Bila you pursue your talents, you punya kekuatan, you punya curiosity, how, macam mana, ya? macam mana, ya? macam mana, and your passion, it's going to be well, you're going to create wealth. Now, who do I hear this from? I hear this from when I was on the plane on my way to Perth by Richard Branson. Sir Richard Branson says, do not do anything outside of something that you don't love. You must pursue your curiosity and your talent and your passion. That's how you create wealth. Dia cakap. And I'm like thinking, itu je dia nak cakap dengan aku. Takkan itu je kot. But then I'm thinking again and again and again, again. Damn, man. After many, many years, I realized what he's saying is true. You see, if we don't pursue your, our talent, our curiosity and our passion, we will be at work. Do you understand? You will be not putting, um, you're not going to love what you do. That's basically it. All right. So very, very important. All right. Um, uh, be because here's, here's what it is. My personally for me, I love to learn. Saya suka belajar. I love to learn and I can learn fast. But I get bored fast. So I guess I'll get bored very fast. You see, that's the point. So I cannot be on a job that's going to be for 20 years on the same skills. Do you understand what I'm trying to say, ladies and gentlemen? That's me. So for me, I love people. I love um, enrolling people. Mengajar. I love sharing. I love teaching. Like right now, this is what I love to do. Right? And I love sharing. So this is my skill, specific skills. So my question for you is, what are your skills? All right. Now, here's the thing. I want to say to you, if you have talent, curiosity, and passion, tapi you bukan in it in 100%, 100 pratus, then somebody else akan outperform you. They akan lagi bagus daripada you. Sebab orang tu adalah orang yang obsessed dan gila lagi daripada you. And they're going to make more money because they are the leverage. So that's what I want to say to you. Everybody follow? Yeah, monster. Apa monster tu? <laughs> yeah, you got to be a monster, right? You got to be obsessive about your skills. So, it, at this particular juncture, saya nak anda sila tulis kat dalam, dalam here kat sini, what would be your skills? What would be your specific skills? Just one or two. What, what really, really, really you love. For me, as I said just now, um, my skills, my talents is uh, I love enrolling people. Uh, I love sharing, teaching. Uh, maybe for you is I love you love mathematics, something like that, or you love coding, okay? Ataupun you suka sangat uh, mind games. That's your specific skills, you know. You really, really love human resource, you know. So what is it? Is your skill? So I uh, like to hear from you. Apa you punya skills? Okay, so put it there. A uh, halal products, Azrina Hamidun. No, no, nice, nice, nice. Make a deal. Ida you the test. You go 100%. Okay, so here's this one. Here's what I learned from Tony Fernandez. He says, master the basics. Master your foundation. Master, master, master. Contohnya, apa saya nak kata kat sini is, jangan susah-susah diri. All you need to do is master. Kuatkan the basics dulu. So, kalau you kata, I'm afraid of speaking. Sebenarnya, being able to communicate menggunakan simple words, macam saya sekarang ni, bercakap dengan perkataan-perkataan uh, yang mudah if example is uh, if i can want to speak it in english is more important than being able to write poems betul tak nak menulis nulis saja so master the speaking skills of persuasion for example yang kedua uh, so i'm afraid of selling you got to master be persuasive when speaking you understand kalau you nak belajar you belajar dengan idayu sangat sangat persuasif tahu macam nak create a deal So be persuasive is more important than being expert at clicking. Everybody follow? Hello? Check out. 
master the basics cakap master the basics awesome alright master the basics crunching numbers analyze interpret data very good nor then we got to work on that okay nor okay awesome now uh, so how do we become wealthy macam mana kita menjadi kaya raya this is the answer ladies and gentlemen listen to me very very closely how do you become wealthy the answer is by applying your skills and knowledge at scale dengan menggunakan kepala otak kita punya skill punya knowledge punya talent secara massive scale berleluasa impacting millions and billions of people that's how you become wealthy everybody follow you guys follow this apply skills at scale dia tak boleh main kecil-kecil dia kena buat poof, besar semua orang dapat impact all right so everybody follow i'll give you an example okay this guy siapa kenal orang sebelah kiri tu yang tengah la la layan badan tu tengah singit badan dua orang tengah singit badan bayangkan dia orang ni ya yeah. bill gates ni gila this bill gates ah bill gates tak habis university ya eh, kawan-kawan dia tak habis dia obses kalau boleh awak tengok dekat Netflix go and watch Netflix bill in inside bill gates brains this guy is obsessed he obsessed at reading sampai mak dia marah dia sebab dia tak nak makan he's so obsessed he wants to read and he reads and he's obsessed at coding 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 coding, coding. he becomes the best at coding then he said to himself and to other people i want to create a pc in every home dalam setiap rumah there's going to be a pc what does that mean what does a pc in every home mean siapa boleh tulis what does a pc in every home mean apa maksudnya a pc in every home what does a pc in every home mean dia punya tu dia punya dia cakap ah oh my god aku nak buat coding ya yeah. and a pc in every home apa maksudnya bukan p i s s y eh p c p and c apa maksudnya ya yeah. in satu home satu computer user. correct setiap rumah dalam dunia ini akan menggunakan saya punya coding yang telah saya lakukan disebabkan daripada saya punya obsession it's called microsoft and I, you are going to use my microsoft by in your house by everybody Faham tak? He went and scale up and gone billions. Okay? Yes, buat satu kali, duplicate dua kali. <laughs> Who's the other guy on the right? Tengok siapa the guy on the right. Who's the guy on the right? Siapa tahu? A guy who also is a college dropout. Siapa kat sini tak habis college? Eh? Tak pergi universiti, tak habis? Ada tak sesiapa? Ya, yeah. FB co-founder. <laughs> FB co-founder. <laughs> Alright. So, Nampak tak dia tengah buat apa? Tengok screen dia tengah buat apa tu. Nampak? Kau boleh nampak tak screen dia? Itu itu bukan bahasa tu. Right? <laughs> itu bukan English. That's called coding. It's mad. And he just said, look, everybody's going to be in. I coded everybody. Everybody's going to be friends with everybody all over the world. Billions and billions. C++ eh? So, obsessed at coding. Now, how many of you have heard this man called uh, Warren Buffett? Dan dengan nama Warren Buffett? I want to give you an example. Warren Buffett. Siapa pernah dengar? Nah, eh? Warren Buffett. Dia punya skills apa rasa-rasanya? Siapa tahu skills Warren Buffett? Okay. Beli long-term stock. Beli long-term stock. Ah, Warren Buffett. Siapa tahu dia punya specific skill? Ah, property. Warren Buffett. Okay. Warren Buffett. Beli stock under value. Okay. Alright, baca trend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. So, trading. Thank you, Irfan. Warren Buffett, he has a skill. The skill is he is pandai membaca and he can read data. He's an absorption machine. Dia boleh baca data. Baca data. 
But there's one more skill that Warren Buffett has. Apa you rasa skill dia yang membuatkan dia kaya raya? Who can tell me what's the biggest skill that he learned that make him very, very wealthy? You can read data. You can do that. I mean, if you're a stockbroker, you boleh baca data. But what's the skill you think that made him very, very wealthy? Investment, analyze, blah, blah, blah. Okay, good, good. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right. The answer is, you guys ready for the answer? What drum roll, drum roll. Grrr, drum roll. Grrr. <laughs> the answer, Warren Buffett's biggest skill yang membuatkan dia kaya raya is, he is, mana yang jawapan ni? Persuasion skill. Baca tu. Warren Buffett would not have been very, very, very kaya if he didn't learn how to speak because he actually sells shares. Dia menjual share business dia. That's how he made him very, very famous because he buys business and he also menjual share business dia juga. His business is called Berk. Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire Hathaway. Itu adalah skill dia masa dia muda. Dia pandai menjual shares masa time tu. So, he was skillful tapi because he didn't know how to do it, dia pergi belajar how to do it by Dale Carnegie. And he can speak. You see? Now, look at the guy on the right. Eh? The guy on the right. So, siapa dia? Jack Ma. Jack Ma. Jack Ma ni dulu-dulu kerja dia apa? Apa dia miski, kawan-kawan? Skill dia apa? Sebenarnya Jack Ma. Ya, teacher. Bercakap. Nampak tu dia dengan bercakap. Cikgu. So, siapa kat sini cikgu? Siapa sini pandai bercakap? You can just, you will become Jack Ma. Because you are the business. You need to persuade. So, this is nothing crazy, kawan-kawan. Malam ni, saya menunjukkan kepada anda that you have to find your skills and go on that skill. Lepas tu kita akan bina the skill where you will create wealth. Semua orang faham, faham maksud saya tak? I have no point. I have no, some, tak ada benda yang teknikal malam ni. I'm just saying this is the basic aja malam ni. It's just talking about basic. So, how many of you learn something tonight? How many of you belajar sesuatu malam ini? Sesuatu? Thank you. So, I have uh, satu benda yang saya nak minta tolong daripada semua. Boleh ke? Cakap saya boleh tolong, minta tolong ke? Um, apa betul Ridwan? Tunjuk je sikit. Siapa? Saya minta tolong boleh? Okay. Saya nak minta tolong anda sekarang ni sebab ada yang gambar tak ada kat sini. So what I love to see you is please um, take a photo of you tengah belajar. Alright. Tengah belajar ke macam you tengah satu uh, satu skill baru eh. Kalau yang tak pernah ada skill ni, satu skill baru ambil gambar. Um, learning uh, pillars of wealth. And tag myself and myself Nash Idrus and tag uh, precession capital. Kalau you boleh buat tu, you guys amazing. So you take me. Apa nama tag kita punya ni? Uh, apa nama tu? Kita punya hand. You gonna add create precession, right? Can somebody help me write this down? So add create precession, add Nash underscore Idrus. Kita cakap learning. Uh, pillars of wealth sebab make me happy tonight ladies and gentlemen sebab saya buat benda ni for you uh, mengambilkan masa ber mengambilkan uh, tenaga berkerah nak buat benda ni because i really love you and uh, i really hope that you learn something tonight this is the first skill ada lagi lima that is crazy i learn all this from a from big big person and they make it so simplified untuk kita i want to share this with you Now, from venture capital, I belajar benda ni. From people who are, uh, are billionaires. These are the things I want to pass to you. Okay. Now, uh, before we go, saya harap semua orang dekat sini lagi. Before we go, we do a bit of summary of pillars of wealth. Okay. Oh, tadi tu pun uh, Instagram eh. Kalau boleh Instagram. Okay, a summary. Siapa boleh tolong saya uh, buat summary kat sini? What did you learn? So, in summary, one of the things that we learned tonight was this. All right, the meaning of wealth, the difference of wealth, money, and status, how to get wealthy, which is through business. 
And I showed you already Forbes, most richest people are wealthy through business. What is financial freedom? And the, the first pillar that we talk about is skills and knowledge. That's how you create wealth. Betul tak? Malam ni. All right. So uh, I have one last uh, one last uh, thing to share with you. Kita nak ambil gambar before we finish. Um, so if you don't mind, um, how many of you actually learned something tonight? You guys learned something tonight? All right. So next, how many of you would like to learn more if we do another one? Ke korang dah tak nak dah? Korang dah tak nak dah benda ni? <laughs> Cakap me. All right. Give me some love, ladies and gentlemen. It would be nice to experience love here. Yeah, to dia, Lily Azhar bagi love. <laughs> okay, okay. Wow, love. Oh, it's like I give love, love, love. Give me some love. Okay, sebab saya sorang-sorang depan kamera ni. Okay. <laughs> Henry Lim, Aiman Hakim. Nice one, man. Thank you. Thank you for sending the love. Um, so next time when we together, Uh, I'm going to talk about the pillars of wealth. We're going to talk about how wealth is created long term. Secara long term. Because there's no such thing of... If you remember just now, 85% of people are wealthy above 50. Right? How to create long term wealth. Um, number two, how accountability creates wealth. We're going to talk about that in the next one. Um, one of the pillars. And how to build equity in your business. Woo! Best start subject ni. So, I like to find out from you, um, nanti kita akan buat poll. I tak sempat nak buat poll eh. Is it okay kalau kita buat this session hari Jumaat pukul 5.30 atau 6? So, please vote. Please vote. 5.30 atau 6? So, I, I just want to know. Uh, 5.30 atau 6? Hari Jumaat. 6pm. Jumaat pukul berapa? Sebab kita nak tahu, you're going to chill, chill, chill and that's one hour, okay. Uh, Jumat pukul berapa? All right. Thank you, Azim. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, whoa. Love, love, love. 5.30 or 6, 6 p.m. Why? Because for the next uh, 28, 40 days, I'll be in a program called the CFO in um, CFO, Rapid CFO Program. Siapa yang nak jadi CFO? Uh, go to that program. Tapi program tu is a very specific, very powerful program by my sifu mentor. And then mentor juga orang-orang kat sini ya, Dr. Wong. So, 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock, I love to share with you this. But, so, before we close tonight, thank you, eh. Thank you, guys. Before we close tonight, let's take a big photo. Kalau boleh. Kalau boleh, kita ambil gambar ramai-ramai, tolong senyum sikit, guys. Faham lah, korang tak nak buka kamera, kan? Saya kena stop share screen sekejap. Ambil gambar and uh, 9.30 sharp uh, to dia. Tengok semua orang handsome kat sini. To dia. Right or right so. Okay. <laughs> eh, siapa boleh tengok picit kan ni? <laughs> Aduh eh. Okay ah. Nicely done. Alright. Smile. Loy, apa saya tak buka kamera? Okay, smile. Hafiz to dia. Buka lah camera. Okay, nice lah. Hey, we send it to the group, okay? We send it to the group, yo. Uh, number one and number two. Satu lagi. Second page. Alright, peace. What peace? Or maybe love, whatever. Send some love. <laughs> okay. So, hope to see you guys again. Siapa nak the slides? Yo, get into the Telegram group and then we'll share that with you. Okay, sekian saja. It's 9.30. I don't want to take your time. Thank you very much. Love you guys so much. The best game. Daripada Allah, kurangi daripada saya. Thank you. We'll speak with you again. Go out there and create precession. Go out there and create things for other human beings. Go out there and bigger, be bigger than self. Use your specific skills and knowledge to create wealth. All right. Love you guys. All right. Bye. See you. Bye, bye Rahana, would your best best. Bye. <laughs> bye Azina, oh, Azina macam ni rupanya ya. <laughs> All right. All right.